Doing grey, grey. You playing on the new cloth today? Uh, I'll probably go live with it. I'll have a, I'll hit a ball on it, but I'll probably go live with it for the first time tomorrow for a match. How soft is the cloth? I mean, That's quite what's, soft. what's the material again? Well, this is mainly nylon with a bit of wool, yeah. which is your speed cloth, and the other one's probably the other way around, yeah. as in percentage, probably 90, 95% wool and the rest nylon sort okay. of thing. So. Cool. Okay. What colour are you going? Grey. How often do you play pool? Every day if I can, Edward. Everyone's asking about the colour change. So for anyone who's... I'm scrolling through the questions that have been asked, so I will get to your question, guys. You don't have to keep writing the same thing. Um, but yeah, the answer to the colour cloth is that it's going to be grey. Um, cloth colour, sorry. How long will it take? Probably about two hours, Joe. Yeah. Uh, my dad makes the balm. Oh, what? what uh, Lynch Q balm, Jamie. Contact website, Jet. Say, Jamie, sent you a message, we'll sort you out. Okay, Jamie, yeah. Good stuff. Does the wood need to be changed too? No. Unless it's, well, would you say yeah, it does um, at all? The or? cushions, they can get, get a bit threadbare in the corners. Yeah. But normally I can patch them up a little bit to make yeah. them okay but I take it these ones are in all right oh yeah because it's the first time they've been reclothed yeah, yeah, so yeah. you see it's just one set of staple holes yeah but these corners here stop pitting a bit yeah because okay. the, the amount of staples that go in got you but normally they have to be really, really rubbered after a while don't they yeah 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 so can I get a job doing that looks like a good job <laughs> I mean you can if you've got the skills to do it absolutely you know I'll practice take someone on one day What's that? I'll take someone on one day. Yeah, not, not yet. Yeah. Fair enough. Give someone an I don't know, how, how long would you say? So, well, how did you learn how to um, do this? Yeah, basically, I, Trevor Sanders, who um, was a very good boss, mm -hmm. um, I linked up with him. He gave me an opportunity, and I used to take um, old cushions home with old cloth. Okay. Just practice at home, and if I made a mistake, take him to him the next day, show him, and he'd probably say, you could do that a bit better, and then just yeah. gradually practice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. Cushions are pine, rest is MDF, it is indeed Sam. Is there a difference with the blue cloth and the grey cloth? Uh, thanks for your question, Thomas. Yep, so the blue cloth is a speed cloth, um, whereas the grey cloth is a nat cloth. So the speed cloth is going to be faster, but you're not going to get as much reaction from the cue ball, whereas the grey cloth is a little bit slower, but you're going to get a lot more reaction from the cue ball. How much is a new slate? Good question. I don't know if you know that. Um, it's a tricky one because... I'm guessing they, do they sell it separately? I know the they carriage go? was £125 plus VAT just for the carriage oh, wow. of a slate. Yeah, the slate it's like has got to be worth, kilos, isn't it? Yeah, so the slate has got to be maybe double that price, I yeah. thought, so... You're probably looking three at... Three to four hundred, probably. Three, three to four hundred pounds for a new slate delivered is like a rough estimate there. But that's very rough because I don't yeah. really know. I've just seen the carriage, you know. Fair so. enough. The actual, the actual delivery cost on a new slate is one hundred and twenty-five pounds because VAT, it, yeah. yeah, plus VAT. So looking at like one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty pounds, something like that. Um, the uh, the reason why is because it weighs. Is it 100, 100 kilos? One hundred and twenty. Yeah, I'm not sure, but ways, it's heavy seven, enough. If yeah. you carry it upstairs, I reckon it feels heavier and heavier. Yeah, well, they, these me, guys so. delivered it here and the guy yeah. did his back in, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, should get Hainsworth match. Um, the only reason why I'm not is because Ultimate Pool don't use Hainsworth, Hainsworth match. I've played on Hainsworth match cloth and I'm not a huge fan of it. I would say um, the same. Yeah, I don't Fitting love wise, it. it's not such a nice finish. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's I, not so they, used nice it up, they used it, used to use it up at Waterloo. Bill. They still do, yeah. They, yeah. No, haven't they replaced it to 861? No. They went from 861 to Hainsworth Match Blue. From, I thought they went from the opposite way around. No. Okay. No. I can't remember. Definitely right because I do yeah. them, so oh, yeah. You, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, you're yeah, one who fits so. them. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, how much different would the new cloth be play compared to the blue? So just saying there, it's mainly going to be about spin. Uh, of the cue ball and sp and speed of the ball moving around the table, uh, Vincent. Was the cloth, hang on, we've got a question from Juggernaut. Was the cloth you had before more a speed cloth rather than a proper cloth with nap? Yes, it was a speed cloth. This cloth here is speed cloth. 
Um, it has got a little bit more wool yeah. than a normal Stracker Super Pro cloth. Okay. But only a little bit. That's yeah. why it slides a bit more apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is majority of speed cloth. Yeah. Why are you changing the cloth? It was, this one was a little bit too worn out for me. Um, the cushions, one of the cushions in particular was getting a little bit bouncy and it's it's actually slap, uh, slap it's off. slap but the line so I, I thought that this was just badly drawn but Ian has told me that it's not um, so I'll show you real quick I I only just noticed this like maybe a month in two months into having the table you see how that line is not straight it's not because this wasn't drawn straight it's because what were you saying is, has basically happened to the cloth it slips so basically part of the cloth has come unstuck Yep. With the glue. So when I lift this top frame off, mm -hmm. I'll bet here or here you'll be able to see the, the cloth, the slate, because it's actually okay. slipped. Cool. So we'll show all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll show all that when it gets to it. Thank you for the gifts, Corey. Much appreciated, mate. So I'll, I'll do a little bit of walking around the table. Um, more like I won't always have the camera up on the shelf, but for now, just while I'm answering questions, I am going to put the camera back. So keep asking those questions, guys, if there's anything you want to know. And I say myself and Ian will answer them. Most likely it's going to be Ian. <laughs> You're more the playing side, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. I know nothing about tables, to well, be honest. I'll show you <laughs> Can you assemble the table yourself when it's delivered, or is it best to ask someone else? Um, I think you can. It's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to need someone else to help you. Ground floor's better as well. Yeah. It's got to go upstairs. Yeah, definitely keep it on the ground floor as well because it, it is heavy. All in all, it weighs about 300 kilos, is it? Yeah, I reckon it's about 350, 350 something like that. 350. Yeah. The whole table weighs about 300 to 350 kilos. So it comes in four pieces that can be divided into roughly 120 kilos for the slate. 100 and... I don't know the exact weights of all of them. I'm guessing I'll probably say 160 the slate. Oh, okay. I and the base is light. probably similar yeah. weight. The legs are just light yeah, and the frames yeah. are light. Obviously, so. Supreme tables are lighter tables than yeah. some of them out there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Fair enough. Uh, so how much is the cost in total for cloth and reclothing? In total, Luke, it's going to be about £300. How much is reclothing, including cushions? Exactly what I just said, Jay. Um, which one is used more in tournaments? So depending on which tournament you play in and what venue you play at, uh, the, the 861 is played on the IPA Tour. The one that I've got going on is played on the Ultimate Pool uh, at the Ultimate Pool events. What cloth do they use on Ultimate Pool? They use the one that I'm having fitted, which is um, Strachan Superfine in grey. Uh, how's it going? Someone with the arrows. How's it going, mate? You all right? What cloth do you use on the ultimate pool circuit? That is Strachan Superfine. How do you judge the stretch on the cloth? Basically, you put it as tight as you can. Yeah. Okay. The tighter you get it, yeah. The better, the faster it's going to play. But obviously, with um, that cloth, a wall cloth, you can rip it if you put yeah, it too yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, not, I don't think you'd ever rip a speed cloth because yeah. it's so durable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Would you say that's more in general that this cloth is more durable than that cloth? Oh, it is definitely. Yeah, yeah. like a lot of pubs have the speed cloth because obviously yeah. you get people that longer. play for the first time maybe, and then yeah. you know, might be a bit. Because uh, Ron, Ronnie's moved to the speed cloth. Yeah, because I was he going there doing the rips so often. All the time. Yeah, and it's cost him a lot of money. So yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we won't funny. get any rips in this cloth. No. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um. How much is the overall cost? I think I've said that about five times, so I'll answer again. It's about £300 all in. Jordan, how are you doing, mate? So Jordan's the one of you. Um, Hello, Jordan. He, yeah, said hi. Jordan, I'll be messaging you about your iron because I probably will take it off you, buddy. Um, I'll, I'll probably message you today uh, after this is done. How long to do the cloth? It's going to take roughly about two hours, mate. That's Mark77. Thank you for your question. Uh, what's thanks for answering questions by the way Corey much appreciate it buddy what size does the room need to be to properly use a pool table so this room is roughly 15 foot by 12 I think something like that ideally you want five foot all the way around okay queuing space so and a stance is normally about five foot I reckon yeah, yeah, on, yeah. So. so if you want like I, I, the way that I've found it 15 foot by 13 foot is like the bare minimum. 
16 foot by 14 foot if you want a bit of space, and 17 foot by 15 foot if you want to be able to dance around the table and not touch any walls or anything. So that's the sizes for TG Coolboy123. Thanks for your question. Uh, hang on one sec. What color is the new one going to be? Gray. How much did the table cost? So the table costs roughly about £1,700 uh, deli £1, delivered, um, br brand new. That's for a free play one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. want a coin mechanism, yeah. you're talking another expensive. two, three hundred, I'd say. Oh, okay. If you want an electronic coin mech, it's another hundred, something oh, right. like that. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, so if, you want the, if you want it to be like where you pay to use it, like putting it in a pub or something, it's going to be more expensive. Obviously that makes sense, but I've never... You bought one. So, for a home use, obviously a free play is best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be paying every time you use it, unless you get your mates around. Yeah. <laughs> what is harder to cut, the middles or the corners? What, to pot or to, to fit? Pot, as in to fit. If, are they any different? Um, yeah, Paul's not too bad, so you can lay it flat or snooker, you can't get yeah. in the bed. It's okay. a completely different technique, but yeah. to be fair, the main thing is just getting it tight. Yeah, so, okay. Um, is Q-Wax good? So again, I've never used it, but I've heard good things. I'll hopefully be getting some sent to me soon that I can um, try out and see how it goes. Uh, how much is a table like yours? Um, yeah, I've already answered that, about 1,600. Can you play on it straight away? Yes. Yeah, you can, and I will, but maybe not for very long, maybe like five minutes, just to kind of test it out, see how it goes. See if it's straight more than anything. Like oh, <laughs> that would be the most. That would be the best thing because otherwise, I know what happen. And it'll leave, and then I'll notice it's not straight, and then I won't be able to level it myself. So, or I'll mess it up by trying. <laughs> um, hope Dan doesn't mess up the new cloth tomorrow. You better not, Kaime. You better not. Um, is an MDF table worth it? Six foot. I think. Got to get a slate bed. Yeah, get a slate bed. The MDF tables aren't going to last you very long unless you are literally looking to just have a mess around table and not really take the game seriously. Would you say like? Yeah, but also MDF. As well? I find MDF you can't really cloth them. Oh, okay. And the quality of cloth on there is quite poor because yeah. of the cost of the table. Yeah, so, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so you're wasting yeah. your money. But if you want a, just a quick game, yeah, and it to be a chuck away table eventually, then that's the way to go. But yeah, these have got value because you can recloth them and sell yeah. them on if you, you know, think, you know. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to resell an MDF table really. Um, so yeah, get a slate bed table. Yeah. New table is it, mate? Uh, not new table, just new cloth. This table is. Uh, Nine months old. Are you interested in your watch on super fine? It's definitely slower than 861. So I've heard Jordan, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've played on that cloth before. I used to play a lot of snooker, so I'm hoping the uh, the change of cloths won't make my game too much different. It will probably change it for a little bit, but I'm hoping it isn't like drastically different. We'll see how it goes. I'll eventually get used to it. I have a pay one in my house. It's good for saving money. Fair play, Mitchell. I used to have a fruit machine in my old house when I was 16, and I used to put my pocket money in it, and I'd end up with some money in there at the end of the month, so it's a good way of doing it. Um, how old is your pool table yet? Nine months. New table, no. Uh, the slate carries most of the weight. Yeah, the slate is about 160 kilos. I thought it was 120, that's where I have no, no knowledge, really. It's about 160 kilos for the uh, the slate, it's very heavy. And the cabinet of the table uh, is about the same. Um, how come you went to Superfine in the end? Just for, with the affiliation to Ultimate Pool, mate. Um, I want to be more represented by their colours. And, and if I'm going to be playing on that Challenger series one day, I'll, I'll want to get used to that cloth. Uh, but we'll see, if I don't like this cloth, then I probably will change back to this cloth because I love the A61. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, here we go, Mr. Ducking. Mark, how long have you been playing? About 32 years on and off, but I took a break between the age of 20 to 30. So I've been playing seriously for the last seven years. What, why recloth it? Because the old, the blue cloth was getting worn out. Um, yeah, I wasn't, it just wasn't rolling the right way. It was, you could, I probably could have carried on playing with it, but I just wanted a change. And obviously the affiliation now with Ultimate Pool, I want to have a grey cloth instead of a blue cloth. 
Uh, what do you think of Luke Purcell? I mean, awesome, awesome player, world championship, world ch snooker world champion for a reason. Plays attacking snooker, which I love. That was the best thing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, so excited to watch it. Yeah, play. that's why I play attacking pool because I find it's just so much more exciting to watch. So it's great. Do you ever have to replace a slate? Only uh, if it gets broke. Yeah. Or it can it, it warp? It can warp, but yeah. I don't think there's any science of why it does warp, but yeah. it can warp. Okay. Um, but mainly if it gets broke. Yeah. And obviously that normally happens if a ball gets stuck. Yeah. People have had a few beers and they think, I'll lift the table up, drop it yeah. back down, and then unfortunately it normally just breaks straight through the middle. Oh, okay. Like a guillotine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously once it's gone, you can't, you can't repeat. patch that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that answers your questions, Harry. My old table is 200 kilos for the slate side. Well, that's, I'm assuming though, that's in Australia. That's a bigger table though, isn't it, Corey? Are they eight foot tables out there, maybe? I, I, that's, that's a guess. Where'd you get the Superfine from? How's it going, Kev? You all right, mate? Uh, Superfine I got from Ultimate Pool, mate. How much does it cost? So the refit is about uh, 130 pounds. Uh, well, not about, it is £130, so Ian is charging £130 to refit, uh, redo this, this cloth. Um, is the Superfine the best out there? I get, to be honest, that will be personal preference. I've never played on Superfine. I've never played on Grey Superfine, but because it's used on Ultimate, I want to kind of try and get used to it. Um, I, so I think it's very similar fine that to the uh, Hames of Match. Okay. But I just think it's just a bit, bit better quality, I think. Okay. But... You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. People might prefer it because they play better on match. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I think I, I, I'm, it's probably going to be my my guess is that I'm going to get on this table after it's done and miss this blue cloth. But that will change. It's going to take me a little bit of time to try and get used to it, though, for sure. Um, do you play golf? Yeah, I do. Um, I used to play off. Uh, I used to play off of. Uh, the lowest I've ever got my handicap down to is an 8, but if I was to go out now I'd probably play off a lot of 14, 16, something like that, because I only play about 5 times a year now. Eight's, I used to play about 3 or 4 times good, a week, it? so it's very good. 8 is very good. Yeah, I mean I used to be playing all the time, I used to, yeah. as much as I play pool now, I used to do that with golf, so I, I play 3 or 4 rounds a week, yeah. and now I play 3 or 4 rounds a year, so yeah. <laughs> I think where pool has taken over, it's just, uh, yeah, obviously I don't have the time to play golf really. So, I mean, I went out for the first time in three, two months, three months on Friday last week, and I've shot an 89. So I'll take that, to be honest. Uh, how often should I read cloth? When it needs it. Uh, if you're a serious player and you play all the time, it's going to be roughly about six months. If you don't really ever play, but you have a table, it can be years. So it all depends on how often you play, or if you get rips or anything like that. Spillages as well. Spillages. Is that sure. sacking the cloth off? Yeah. The drying period of it, so that okay. can make it loose. Yeah. Well, you could say that was a spillage if there was a stain on it. I think there was. That's, no, because there would be a was. stain mark. <laughs> okay. But obviously that can happen, that line going like that, when yeah. there's a spillage, because it sort of extracts and destracts. Got you. That's a word for it there. So. Got uh, Next question. Uh, how much was the cost? So the fitting, £130 for cloth was... 107, uh, 180, uh, so 300-ish in total. What is he doing at the minute? On the last cushion, I'm taking out all the staples. So you can see, I'll just do a quick zoom up. So this is See how many staples are there? There's quite a few there. Yeah, so that's, basically he's been, done. that's the last one done, look. You take them out of a spike, I find that the easiest tool, and then you pour them out with some ball nose pliers, basically. Yeah, so he's just taking all the staples out of the, uh, of the cushions. So that's step one. Let me just fit this. Let me just get this back up. Bear with me. There are loads of questions coming in. I will be answering them. Just give me a minute to scroll back and check the, uh, the questions. What's going on? Just joins. So there's a. I'm having my cloth re redone or refitted basically. So a new cloth is going on. Thank you, Mosky, for your question. How fast is the nick of the nick of the cloth you use? Nap. Not nap. You mean nap? I assume. Yeah. Um, how fast is the? I'm not sure what you mean by that. AR, could you repeat that question? Is that nick of the cloth? Is that a thing? He means nap. Yeah. 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 Uh, how would you describe that? How fast is the nap of the cloth? Well, uh, the one I'm taking off, the Strachan 861 powder blue, that's a, obviously a speed cloth, so that's 
got no nap on it at all. Yeah. So basically that's gonna be faster while the Strachan Superfar not gonna be fitting, the grey one. And um, basically that's got a very, very fine nap. Mm. But it's enough of a nap to make it still fast, but obviously obviously get a spin on the cue ball more. Yeah. So okay. um, is there any maintenance? How's it going, Rio, mate? Is there any maintenance you have to do to reg uh, do regularly on the cloth? To be honest, I'll show using that again. yeah, do it. Ian's going to show I'll you the maintenance. With the it is different. I'll show you how to do it. It's quite it's simple, but harder to maintain than this cloth, right? Or yes. More work to refit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that's something I'm going to have to get used to because I wasn't really maintaining this cloth very well, but it had lasted me. So, um, so obviously with speed cloth, dirt and that sits on the surface. Yeah. Well, a nap cloth, it sits in the surface more. Okay. So that's probably more reason to brush maybe with yeah, the wall yeah, yeah. cloth. Got you. Um, okay, cool. Right. Fix your lashes, sorry table. Don't understand that, but okay. <laughs> um, are you getting a slower cloth? So yes, but it will create more spin on the cue ball. How do you shape your, your tip, the cue tips? Um, that's going to be something to probably ask a cue maker, I would say, or uh, someone who fits tips to a clock, to a cue. Uh, I don't personally do it. I have someone do it for me. So have someone who refits tips onto your cue, and then they'll be able to do it, and they can maybe talk to you about how they do it. Um, for sure. What's Mario's? Not sure what that means. Um, the superfine snap these brushing yet yeah, is Jordan. What are your best tips for beginners or novice players to uh, no, or novice players basically to practice as much as you can? Um, okay, next question. The little pieces of MDF are the carcass of the table just under the slate. What do they do? Wait, what do you mean? Little pieces of MDF. What this? Do you mean this? This is the underneath of the, uh, the frame. If just that's turned what, upside down. It's basically. just upside down, it's if that's what you mean. Off. Is that what you mean, uh, Kieran? Is that what you're talking about? A little piece of MDF? Is he re the cushions? No, he'll be doing the cushions and the slate, otherwise it would be grey cushions and blue. So you can now see the colour colour difference. So Ian's now... I didn't get that. Oh, Could you, you can shush, Siri. Um, <laughs> Right, so I'm just going to get the camera down and we can see obviously the colour difference between the two cloths. So this is the new cloth that's going on. So basically these, two of these sides, you've got your four sides obviously, two of these you've got to do the cloth going the other way with the nap. Okay. So that's why I've marked them up five and six. Okay. So basically five and six I've got to do the nap going from left to right. Yeah. Well, the other two I do from right to left, so okay. as the ends. Yeah. If you don't do that then the nap's not going to go all the way down the table. Got you. Just gonna just gonna film this one a little bit up close if that's all right with you, mate. Of course, yeah. Yeah. So you get it nice and tight like that. And you get it all the way along. Yeah, the staples a bit more spent apart than what they were when I took them out. Yeah. You don't need that amount of staple. That overkill. Okay. Thank you for the roses, Matt. Much appreciated, mate. Just fold it around the corner. Mm -hmm. So obviously on cushions, the actual middle pocket is a tighter turn than the actual end pockets. Oh, okay. So it's yeah, harder yeah. to do the middles. Of yeah, yeah, a little bit tighter. Yeah. The gentleman said because yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the slate, but he probably means the reclothing of the cushions. Okay. Because it's a tighter curve, it's harder to get rid of the cloth. I'm putting that tight now. Do that one. 
Yep, yeah, no worries. So on Supremes, you have to cut them into the corner, mm -hmm. or some other towers, you can fold the cloth over. Got you. So it's just a bit of a different technique in Supremes. Same side. Because this is more of a, not such of a steep curve. Yeah. It's easier to do. Mm -hmm. Just it around the corner. So I will come back to answering questions, guys. Just kind of doing a close-up of this cushion and then I'll go back to answering questions. Let me know if I'm in your way, mate. That's right. <laughs> Just seen a question about my Lloyd. So you see there, it's pretty parallel the cushions, you know you've got it on nice and flush. Yep. That's basically it. So basically cool. you don't want a massive build up of cloth here because when that's tied against the cushion, it's going to bring the cushion out more. Yep. And it's going to make the middle pocket come out too far, the cushion. So cool. it's just about having no overlap basically. Cool. Awesome. All right. So that is an up close uh, of the recloth on one of the cushions. So Ian's got six of them to do. And then uh, in the meantime, I will put the camera back where it was and get back to answering questions. So anyone who's asked a question in the last five minutes, just give me a second. I will get to your question. I'm just going to put the camera back where it was. But hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of an insight into what it looks like when you're, well, when in stapling the, uh, the cushion, the cloth to the cushions. All right. So back to questions. So... One sec, one sec. What's the green cloth called? What you find in a pub? Do you mean this, the racking cloth? Or do you mean the actual cloth on the table? How much does a cloth cost? 130 pounds for the fitting, 180 pounds for the cloth. How did, so his name's not, not Corey, it's Ian. Um, <laughs> I'll let him do this first, and then I'll, I'll ask him this question. Well, no, how, how did you get into table fitting? Um, it was an advert in the paper. Cause it was oh, back, okay. I think the, the um, internet was just about out. Is it yeah. 1999? It was just an advert in the paper. And, yeah. Um, so it's been a while now, then. <laughs> yeah, 24 years later. Wow. Yeah. Lucky to look in the paper at the right time, really. And sometimes you start a job and you, you find you, you're half decent at it. Yeah, and you yeah. enjoy it as a big thing as well, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. So, Casey, what are we doing to the table? It's, uh, the cloth is being replaced. Thank you for your question. Golf, Paul and Snooker, harvest to master. Definitely not Paul, but I agree that, in my opinion, I was having this conversation with someone yesterday, actually. In my opinion, golf is the hardest sport to master, and then snooker is probably a very close second, and you, could, you might be an argument as to those two switching out. But I'd like to hear your... Uh, your your input on that if you've got a sport that you think is harder the cloth fitting without fitting 130 pounds uh, the cloth without fitting is 180 pounds what color we're going for you can see it's it's uh gray owning a pool table is quite expensive for maintenance and stuff i mean it is if you take the game seriously yeah for sure how do you get into recloffing tables again Ian just said uh, thanks for your question though. What do you use to mark the lines basically non-existent now? 
What lines do you mean? Do you mean the bulk line? The bulk line? This one here. Do you mean the black line that goes at the end of the table where he is pointing? If so, just just uh, tell me if that's what you meant, Alfie. Can you repair the grooves the board leaves on the cloth after continuous pull? Well, my first bit of advice would be get one of these because that helps to reduce that and don't drop the balls into the triangle. Can that be fixed though? I don't know if, would it, that, is that when you know you get grooves and is that the uh, cloth or is that the slate? Um, yeah, it's screwed. basically, it's the cloth worn out a little bit, but what happens is there's dust underneath the cloth and that compounds hard. Okay. Just like a hard lump. Yeah. Um, so, so when you replace the cloth, you should get rid of those grooves. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. you, you can you can maybe get a, a curved needle and go yeah. into the cloth gently and sweep it, but I'd only recommend that in wool cloth. Okay. Not not speed cloth because you ca you could cag it cag it a little bit. Okay. So it's a little technique you can do. So all in all, racking cloth's the way to go. Racking cloth is the way to go. Yeah, definitely. Uh, how long does it take to refit? Roughly about two hours. Does he get cramp pulling that cloth? <laughs> Don't think you do, do you, man? Uh, my fingers do get, I wouldn't say off right to right, see, but they They're do a get tight, a bit, yeah. it's a bit thicker there because I'm stapling all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I said that. before, I don't like mechanical guns, um, electrical, electrical guns because they go too deep into the wood. Sometimes they go straight through the cloth. Oh, okay. So you're definitely more in control of one of these. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, okay. Uh, been trying to find a good slate table. Best one to buy is in the link in my bio, in the uh, home leisure link. Now, how much to replace the rubber on the cushions? I charge eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. But obviously, you'd have to get it reclothed at the same time normally. Yeah. Because you can't put the exact cloth back on the cushions. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you'd have to put an old bed on top and make sure you yeah. don't mark this cloth. Got you. The bed cloth is. Yeah, it's always Would best it, to do it. Do you, so when someone, is it a case of you taking the cloth off and being like, yeah, you need new cushions or would someone um, know well, that they need new Basically, I cushions? can tell probably 80% if they need doing by the feel, so they normally go rock, rock hard or okay. powdery. Yeah, yeah. But um, always have them on board, but if, if you can see a bit more um, once the cloth's taken off for sure. But Got you. Again, it depends on how serious player they are. Yeah, yeah, for you sure. Know, some serious players get them done every couple of years. Yeah. Because they want want it to play at its best. But yeah, for sure. I reckon they can last up to 10, 15 years. Okay. So cool. That's good news for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what company is this? So this is Ian Griffiths Snooker and Paul Table Services. Table Services. That's it. It's a long one. But the best thing to do is in the information. Uh, of this video, it should come up saying welcome to my live or whatever it says. It has Ian's company written in it. Search that on Facebook and that is Ian's company and he replaces cloths on tables around the south of England. Or just on the website. Or on his website, which is yeah. Ian Griffiths Snooker and Pool Table Services. Got it right. There we go. Okay. One sec, one sec. Still going through your questions. Give me two seconds, guys. Getting into the trade, do you learn and practice on old cloth? Yeah, you do, Casey. I think I answered that earlier, but yeah, you do. New cloth day is indeed some dude. What sort of pen do you use to mark, mark the lines, the bulk line? Yeah, so basically you use a Sharp, black Sharpie. permanent yep. thin Sharpie. Or I use a white Tipex pen. I was going to say, is that for the grey or? Like, is yeah, white you can. Yeah, the, so yeah. obviously, if I do a black cloth, I'd have to use that anyway. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. the black line. But yeah. on the telly, they use a white pencil. Yeah. But after a couple of weeks, that wear out, and I'd have yeah. to be marking out Got again. You. So it's not really practical. Okay. Uh, how often does a cloth need replacing? Every six months, if you're serious. But it last years, if you're not. Um, try boxing between and tell me golf is a high sport. So. Physically, obviously boxing is, I'd put, probably put boxing up there as like um, one of the hardest sports in terms of actual fitness, physical fitness. But in terms of um, skill, I would that's where I'm getting at in terms of what is a harder sport. But um, yeah, technically for sure, I think, put it this way, right? If you're a boxer, this is how I... I would describe it, and I don't box, so obviously you, you've boxed for a long time, so you know, but someone, so yourself, if you were to take, say you took, 
a year off, after getting really, really good, say if you took a year off and you came back to it, do you think you would ever get back to that level that you were at at your highest? And the answer to that, in my opinion, would probably be you, you could eventually, whereas golf, I would say that's going to be a lot harder to get back to a high level, if that makes sense. I don't know. I, obviously, I agree with you that boxing is a massively difficult sport, but I think it's, very, it's difficult to describe. That's what Football's I would say. Football's obviously in there. Football, it, the amount of people that play football, every yeah. boy, most boys want to be a footballer, don't they? So yeah, exactly. Football's very it, You could say like gymnastics. Because yeah. physically, yeah. you can't do gymnastics unless you're a, a certain person. You can't, you know, as much as you train for it, you can't be unless you have a certain physique. So unless you have a natural... Uh, engine, you know, you're not going to be able to be a good boxer. So uh, I do get what you mean, and I totally agree. But um, but yeah, I think it's just where you're used to that sport and I'm used to this sport. I I've, I guess we both find it difficult. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, easier. Hang on one sec. Easier with an air compressor staple gun. It is, but you try and get them back out. Yeah, they're difficult <laughs> to get back out. That's the only thing. And they would go through this cloth probably because yeah. it's quite a thin cloth. Got you. Yeah. So, darts is bloody hard. Darts is hard. But again, I'll put. Um, if you if you ask me which of, and this is a common asked question, which anyone who says other than a one four seven, I'd just say plain wrong. What is harder, a hole in one in golf, a one four seven in snooker, and a nine darter? Answer that. Let me know what you think. Which one's harder out of those three? Can I answer it? Yeah, I mean, I'm I, assuming I, you know the same as me. But yeah, I would on. say a one four seven and a, a nine dart would yeah. be harder, I think. Yeah, so so anyone can hit a, a hole in you one. You can get a lucky shot, lucky can't you? We can't get one. lucky nine darts or... It's, well, that's the thing. And I would me. say a nine darter is not as hard as a one four seven. A nine darter, obviously, you've got to be... You can't be an average... You can't even be a good player. You can't be an amazing player and easily get a nine darter. But... A 147 is 36 shots of perfection versus a 9 darter, which is 9 darts, 9 shots of perfection. How amazing was Mark Selby doing oh, in the mate, final? I mean, unbelievable. Just unreal. What if, a player. Yeah. Like the top pros, exactly the top pros to struggle, struggle to get a 147. It's, yeah. But uh, let's have another question. How often should you replace the cloth? Every six months if you're serious, years if you're not. Being a Premier League footballer comes close. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Golf is difficult, yeah. Don't get kicked out in golf. <laughs> How often do you play the uh, change of cloth? Just answer that. I, I personally think golf is the hardest sport to play. The main reason why golf is so difficult to play is because the environmental factor. You can you can just have a one degree change in wind, one mile per hour change in wind and it changes the whole game. Whereas sports that you predominantly play indoors, and this is why I would only say golf is harder than snooker because of this, Look it's at the masters, snooker is so indoors. Well, that changed in a day, didn't it? The yeah, weather, no, well, exactly. It's, horrendous when it's, it's because it's an indoor environment. You can control the, the temperature and everything like that. So, um, yeah. But I mean, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and I'm not arguing with anyone. It's just my, my opinion, really. Uh, and super fine getting fitted is indeed true. How hard to keep consistency? It's the hardest thing about this game. You've got to be blown all the time if you want to be consistent. When getting into the trade, you practice on old cloth. Yeah, you do, Casey. Um, it's archery, yeah. Again, it's a good conversation to have. Just keeps keeps on over about all these difficult sports, but they are all difficult in their own right. Put it this way: Tiger Woods couldn't make a one four seven, and Ronnie O'Sullivan couldn't hit on this hit, hit par. I assume. Um, so unless you have the skills for the game, it's obviously a really difficult game or difficult sport. Practice yeah. is what they've got. Yeah, so exactly. much practice. Yeah, hundred percent amazing. What cloth are you putting on? Strap and A61. Uh, sorry, Strap and Superfine. Uh, sorry for the late party. How much for the refit? It's £130 for the refit, £180 for the cloth. What's the price of Strap and Super Pro? Do you know that? Um, yeah, I charge for green cloth, I charge £190. Yeah. Because it's quite local, 200 for a different colour. So obviously, okay. the green I can buy in bulk, so yeah. it's a bit cheaper. Okay. Yeah, and that's obviously fitted on the cloth, so. Yeah. But as I say, it's not as expensive the cloth as this. These yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. So. Can check out my video. I will. I won't be able to right now, but I will do it another time for sure. Uh, one sec. Just still trying to get through your questions, guys. Give me two seconds.
Does he need a trainee? <laughs> Maybe sometime. Who knows? I do get asked that question a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is quite popular, but yeah. the trouble I find is that if I train someone up, mm-hmm. it would slow me down a lot because I want to train them properly, but yeah. also the standard of whip would probably go down the hill a little bit, yeah, if that yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah. But I will take one on some, some, um, someone one day when I sort of wind down a little bit. Yeah. So, because it's certainly something you want to pass on. Do you have a like an idea of how long you'll do this for? Um, I'm 49 now, so I reckon at least another 15 years. Uh-huh. So maybe 10 years' time, start yeah. looking to train someone up properly, yeah. give them come, a business. Come man. back to me in 10 years for that yeah. question. <laughs> Are those pens that Ian uses? Yep, yeah. Sharpie and Tip X. How long does it take to finish? About two hours. Yeah, exactly. Inked box are 100%, mate. Uh, are you getting a super fine cloth? Yes, Jack. I've been boxing six years. Rugby, yeah, rugby. Again, each to their own with all these sports. As much as I say that golf is the hardest sport in the world, uh, all of these sports are the hardest but sport in the world if you can't play them. So I do respect everyone's opinion. It's not like an argument. It's just it's a good debate to have because all of them have their reasons why they're difficult. So. I think I think an individual sport's got to be harder than a team sport. You can have yeah, an off game yeah, still yeah, with true, the game. True. So I think that's yeah, a big yeah, thing. Yeah. True. The pressure of just it all being a on you. more pressure of like tennis. You got it's all yeah, you. You know. Yeah. You know, so. um, do you reckon your play will be affected for a while? Absolutely, it will. But um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, everyone's saying one four seven, <laughs> pretty much. Um, someone said a hole in one. I don't agree with that. You can nah. be, you can hold a golf club for the first time and get a hole in one. You just have to be lucky at, sometimes. Um, okay, let me see if there's any more questions. Are you having fit? It's a Strachan super fine. On live for the full refit, I am a D Calvin. Hardest shot. The hardest shot is probably going to be when the cue ball is against a cushion. They're quite difficult, or when you're queuing over a ball, Chinese soccer as it's called. They're quite difficult. The middle pocket's harder to put on a on a end pocket. Is it on a pool table? Do you think? Uh, oh, and no end pockets. I would say. Personally. Yeah, so the middle pocket's harder, isn't it? Easier to pot. Easier to pot in the middle pocket. In the middle pocket, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, Easier. I've always found that. Like, yeah. Uh, well, it, it depends. If you're playing down the rail, yeah. then obviously corner, I find it much harder. But yeah. um, so I'm, I like middle pockets, so I'll okay. try and leave the middle pockets. Yeah. Um, snooker tables, same for me, actually, I think. On snooker tables, yeah. I think I'd prefer middle pockets. Yeah. I just think they're a bit more open. But okay. Maybe everyone has their own. There's low players who probably say the opposite to me there. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I've got a lot more confidence coming up to a shot that's going in the middle pocket. I, I yeah. know I probably make that most of the time, whereas corner, it, you know, it's obviously going to be a bit big, more distance, so yeah, yeah more chance of missing. So, right. how many seven ballers have you done? Never had one in my life. No, uh, quite a few, but I don't really count them, mate. Um, how often should you replace the clock? Every six months if you're serious, and every six well years if you're not. How much is a recloth? If you don't mind me asking, Joey, it's 130 pounds for this whole recloth. The the actual cloth, though, the new cloth, will, is going to cost. It cost me 180 pounds. Yes, Jack, I am. Strap and super fine. Uh, I just cloth. No, the cloth and the cushions will be done. F1 driver yet, Benji? Again, you can't be anyone and drive an F1 car. Absolutely. Um, how much do you cloth? 108 pounds. Marathon runner, yeah, again, you can't just be anyone and do that. Yeah, true, Lloyd, you do have people screaming at you when you're getting the nine data. Where is he based? So, Mark, Ian works across the south of England, so if you're in the south coast area, what's the furthest north you go? Do you know? Um, well, I do, um... Or furthest west, do you have, like, a boundary? Yeah, so, like, you're talking probably... The other side of Guildford a little bit, you're talking Salisbury Way, Bournemouth Way, um, Brighton Way. Yeah. Yeah, so anything, hour and a half radius is probably about right, because normally it takes two hours because you yeah. get stuck in traffic. So probably about an hour and a half radius on, from sat now. Okay. So. so it's basically Hampshire, Dorset, West Sussex, but close to the 
Reading, would you do Reading? Yeah, I'll do Reading, yes. Reading, yeah. 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 Reading Benji, absolutely. Alright, hang on one sec. Let's see some more of these questions. Give me two seconds, guys. I will answer all your questions. Superfine is amazing cloth. Where did you buy it? It's on the Ultimate Pool website, uh, Jack, in the link in my bio. Uh, but a millimetre difference, we don't have any shock. Yeah, exactly, Oliver, 100%. I, I would disagree with you there, Oliver. So as much as you've written, millimetres difference angling shot on a snooker table has to be perfect, whereas there is room for error on pool tables because it's smaller. I would actually say that there's slightly more room for error on a snooker table because of the size of the table. Um, although they both need to be within inch perfect, where it's smaller, you have less space to land into. So you probably, the, the trick, the difference between this and snooker is this game is all about what you do with the cue ball. Literally, if you lose the cue ball on one shot, you're gonna lose the clearance. Um, the good thing about this is you're probably gonna be left with a shot if you miss position, you're just gonna be playing another ball. Um, but yeah, this, this game is, the cue ball control in this game is a lot more than I would say in Stuka. Um, Snook you aim for a slightly more of a bigger space than you do in pool. Um, that's my personal experience with both sports. But snooker is a thousand times harder than pool. Um, yeah. Are you named after anyone or anything? I don't know what you mean by that. How long does it take to change? About two hours. Distance running, hurling, yeah, absolutely, my tie, yeah. <laughs> Can you donate the old cloth to Jordan? Jordan's just had new cloth fitted by Ian. Myself. Exactly. I think you're talking about his old green cloth. That wasn't good. It was the 86 one I fit, wasn't it, I think? Uh, yeah, I think you had yeah, 86 one fitted, yeah, yeah. yeah. What about sport weight judging? Uh, gymnastics is just impossible if you can't do gymnastics. <laughs> Um, I agree. Yeah. yeah. How regularly do you replace the cloth? Every six months, if you don't play regular, uh, if you play regularly, roughly every six years, if you do, don't. So. Yeah, I, I would say I'll probably on average um, recloth tables probably every two, three years. I reckon. Okay. Yeah, cool. but that's just a normal household. Yeah, yeah. You know, but still quite serious. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Competitions. Yeah, yeah you're probably right. I mean, if I'm playing twenty hours a week, it's probably going to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not, yeah. not that. Probably more it's often. It's like being in a club, isn't it? Yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. Thoughts on Brazil's win? Really good. Like attacking snooker, that's what it's all about. Love it. Uh, where'd you learn to play? Do this professionally. Um, Ian learned, well, 20, what was it, sorry? Yeah, 20, 20, 24, 24 years, years ago. Really. So um, he learned from someone else who did yeah, it. Yeah, it was a company that hired out about 200 odd plus tables. So. Okay. Um, Cool. But a bit of it was, I could do other things apart from recloth, and I could service the tables, I could count the money in the tables. Yeah. You know, so there was more to it than just recloughing. Yeah. Well, I just do recloughing, obviously, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a bit more in it than deep end. Yeah. How do you feel about being filmed? <laughs> How do I feel about fitting? About yeah. being filmed. Fitting um, like this. Have you ever done this before where someone's filmed um, it? I've done a radio interview. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about what I do. Um, yeah. But no, but to me, it's just talking to you. Like, yeah, there's yeah, loads yeah. of people in the room. Yeah, you just do I won't get the staples so straight, I don't think, yeah. so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, sorry if I'm distracting you. No, uh, you're right, that's okay. <laughs> does Ian do Waterloo Ville or Gosport clubs? I recognise him. He does indeed. Yes, you I do. do. You do Gosport? I do Stoke Snooker Club. Okay. The Ferrum Snooker Club. Don't do the uh, club. G GPA. Yeah, the Hampshire um, Base Stoke Academy. Okay. They've got about 40 tables. Yeah, obviously uh, Rocket Ronnie's in Southampton. Yeah, he's a big customer of mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice venue. Cool. Yeah, what little suit clubs are big one as well. Nice. Yeah. yeah, quite a few uh, in the area for sure. Yeah. Depends on the angle. What type of cloth do you use for snooker? Right, snooker for box standard, good quality cloth. I use Strachan, six, eight, eleven tournaments, thirty ounce. Okay. But on the telly, they use Strachan number 10. Okay. That's like, I don't know, cloth's probably talking about £700 now to fit wow. for a Strachan number just, 10. Just the cloth? Or just with the cloth. The, just the cloth, wow. Yeah. So when they threw all that orange powder on, oh, I take yeah. it that couldn't be salvaged. You can't brush that out, can you? No. Was it paint? 
don't even know what I it was. I don't know, it looked like a powder, didn't it? Yeah. But, oh yeah, they would have had to replace that. as soon as you saw that, you're like, oh god, yeah, that's it's not good, is it? No. How long that, that's, you say that takes six hours to replace as well? Yeah, good Those six hours. Those tournament tables, do you reckon they take the same or they got more? I reckon they take nearer seven, the actual well, star tables. Yeah. They're a bit harder to steel block. So, right. in the cushions. So. Yeah, so that person who threw that paint on that table has just cost someone six hours to fit that and then another well, no, six what it, hours. What to they do, it do they actually bring the cushions already done, see? Oh, okay. So all they'd have to do is just do the bed. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, did he get. No, he would have got it on the cushions, no? I reckon he got on the cushions, yeah. yeah so, it might have been yeah. a while to redo it as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, 130, not bad, yeah, for sure. Does Ian supply the cloth if you need to? Yeah, he does. Um, it, he can what obviously. Can yeah. All that information can be found on his website, Ian Griffith Snooker and Paul uh, Paul and Snooker Table Services. If you search that on Facebook, Ian's company is on there. Hang on a sec, let me just keep going with these questions. There are main supplier for tables, a company most get people get them from. Home Ledger probably is where, it's where I got this table, it's where you're probably going to get your table from. And the link to the tape that is in my bio. Will you play him when he's finished? Bet he's a right shark. <laughs> I'll bet I'm not, but I will. I'll give you we'll a have a couple of games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why not? Just expensive for the Superbond, I think. Hainsworth Precision is better quality. Would you, would you do, agree with that? Hainsworth Precision? Is that a cloth? I've never heard of that. No, I, I've fitted it and it's even thinner than Strachan Superfine. Oh, okay. But I would, I think Strachan is the best. Well, I, I think also like Strachan have been doing cloths for over a hundred years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hainsworth, I'm not so sure. Yeah, You know, okay. So that's that gives me confidence in the cloth Strachan as well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Will you be live tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. I hope you'll be playing MP from 3.30 until uh, 6.30 tomorrow. Cloth rig fit is £130, not including the cloth. Oh, I think you might have your... Is it your son? Lennon? Yeah, he's on there. Same is thing. Say hi, please. Hello, Lennon. <laughs> Hello, Karen. So I just can't wait to get on the table. You're right. It's, uh, I might have to start hitting the balls on the carpet at this rate. Um, did you bring enough staples? <laughs> yeah. Just about. <laughs> Do you repair the seat if there are dents during the recline? Uh, there won't be, there shouldn't be dents, but no. there, you can put a bit of filler in if there is, but normally okay. it's just a build up of hard dust underneath. Okay. And it feels like there's a dent, but there's not. Okay. So. Uh, is he okay with you being live? Yep, yeah, Ian's cool with yeah, this. I'm Obviously, cool with his, his company is being advertised. It gives me a bit of content, so we it's both good get. for all of us, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We both get something out of it for sure, so. And obviously I'll get a new cloth, which is great. <laughs> Does he do the cru do you do the crucible in reading? No, I don't know. No, no. Okay. Is there any advantages or disadvantages to cloth colour? Obviously, depending on what, what tournaments you play at, you want to really be playing uh, practicing on a table that has the same cloth as a tournament that you play. If I go from a blue cloth to a green cloth, I or or it's more of a psychological thing, I think. Yeah. But I do, I do play different on different coloured cloths. So I am in no doubt that it's gonna take me a while to get used to this grey cloth when it comes on. How much longer will the re-cloth take, do you reckon? Um, probably about good? another 50 minutes, I reckon. Because the cushion, yeah, 50, because the cushions do take the longest part of the time. Okay. So Yeah, I was gonna say that's a lot yeah, to them, right? So. Yeah. Is it possible for a slate to lean in two different ways? Yeah, Cambo. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hopeful yeah. mine hasn't because mine shouldn't do. It was but unlevel. Why they normally bow is because people have them on site if you buy a second hand one and they okay. lift it up in the middle and the bottom sags out eventually. Okay. And obviously the inside's what the slate sits on. If the, the, the stuff that if the start again. When the slate sits on the struts, if they drop because the bottom of the table sunk, then yeah. you're going to get an imperfect balance of the slate or the okay. level of the slate. So it's. If you get a brand new slate, a yeah. table, it should be pretty good. Okay, cool. It should be pretty good. I'm hopeful with mine isn't, because it's unlevel on one end, and then it's fine middle onto this end. Okay. So I don't know. Right, right, you'll you'll have a look, and then yeah. hopefully it's not, because otherwise... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be looking at getting a new table, but who knows? Oh, should be fine. Um, to be honest, it's not terrible, it's just... Yeah. It's just enough for me to notice it, do you know what I mean? But also, if you've got a nap cloth, that's going to be more... 
less uh, more forgiving on the on the ball. Okay, cool. Because obviously speed off, it's going to roll off a bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just keep going with these questions that have been asked. I will get to your question if I haven't already. Uh, how's it going, Alfie? Why is it a different colour? Because I'm having a new colour fitted. So the whole table will be a different colour. How's it going, Lennon? That's it's my son. Yeah. <laughs> is he local or does he travel all over England? No, he's typically south of England. Kind of going up to the Hampshire-Surrey border by the sounds of it. And then... Uh, Maybe Berkshire, but, um, Wiltshire, yeah. Wiltshire, Dorset, West Sussex. No, so Drew, I don't think he knows anyone in Scotland. Take it easy, really. No. no. What cloth have I gone for? Strachan Superfine. Does the colour of the cloth make a difference? I've already answered that. Been watching this for too long. I mean, it's a good process to watch. It's very interesting. Hainsworth match is what we mainly see in Greater Manchester. Rarely see Strachan. I would say that's probably going to change with Ultimate Pool having a, a location in, or a presence in, in Manchester. I think they play on Strachan Superfine, so I would have thought that would change. How, do, how does it take, what does it take to do the job full time? Lots of practice. Um, getting the opportunity, practice really. And getting the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. I was lucky to have the opportunity. There's not many of us about. Yeah. Um, a good way probably is to join a fruit machine company. Yeah. And be an all rounder where you can sort of do I fruit machines. Does that. Do you know yeah. Ben? Ben Spies? I don't know if you've heard of him. He's from Wiltshire area. Oh, uh, from Romsey area. I think. Oh, okay, no, I yeah. don't know. But that's a good way because obviously it's not just doing poor reclass, but yeah. you have enough practice to get half decent at reclass. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Got you. Great to watch someone do it. It's a great skill to have. It is indeed. Oh, thank you. There you go. Going to give Ian a game after this, maybe. We'll see. Does he know what he's doing? I mean, I hope he does. Playing, I think, no. I think he does. <laughs> playing or potting, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> oh, sorry, playing or replotting. Like, he knows what he's doing with both, I would have thought. What is the best strapping cloth, in your opinion? I think they're always good for different reasons. Like, um, well, the cloths I use in stock are the Strachan Super Pro Speed Cloth and the Strachan um, 6811 Club. They're very good cloths, but mm. I suppose this is just a bit more of an upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I so because I don't play, I don't know completely the difference. Yeah. You have to be a really good player to notice the difference, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, so you want to play on the same ones that are on the tournaments, don't you? So, yeah, absolutely. Well, if everyone had Strachan Super Pro on your on the cloths and tournaments, you'd want that instead of this, wouldn't you? Yeah, for sure. You know right, what I mean? Exactly. So you want to replicate what you're playing on. Yeah. So the club, club I play changed from green to grey, and I couldn't get my head around it for weeks. Yeah, it's it, it, the colour does affect you. I it mean, will affect it? my it will affect my game. I mean, no doubt. I'm, I'm not going to be playing as well. Well, at the level I was playing at before. So. Do you play on grey cloths that much? Not right now, but I will in the future. What's the best striking cloth? Already answered that. Oh, oh no, I just lost the questions. If you've asked me a question in the last two minutes that I haven't answered, please rewrite it because I just accidentally ended the live, like I left the live and came back on my iPad, so I can't see the questions. So I basically, the only question that I can see is, or KJ has just answered saying, looks easy, but I don't think it is in reality. If you wrote a question that I didn't answer before that, please rewrite it and I'll, I'll say, I'll do it again. I'll answer it. Whereabouts is this guy based? Uh, Fairham area. So South Coast, he'll do tables across the South Coast of England, really. Maybe not too far more west, any more west than Bournemouth. Or I can go to Bournemouth, yeah. yeah. As long as oh, it's an hour and a half distance, something yeah. like that. Anywhere that's an hour and a half away from the Southampton and Fairham area. Table recloth is £130. Strap is super pro, yeah, it's going to be a good cloth to get. Is this the end of the uh, 60 ball shootout now? There's a new cloth. Yeah, one thing I do is I get, I've got 60 balls put on the table. And oh, play, wow, that's like, tight space, isn't it? Try and play, uh, give myself three lives and try and clear up the table. Can you surprised how many people you get it? I've done it about three times where I haven't actually yeah. lost a life. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
But um, pretty good. I, I turned it into when I get somewhere around here, I play a giant game of killer. Right. So, okay. You know, you play. You each got five lives, and you're trying to stick each other up. But it's yeah. almost impossible not to leave a pot. You know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Nice. yeah it's, it's just something I just started doing, and I don't know why. Different. Yeah. My star for craze. Yeah. <laughs> the killer pools are quite um, popular, isn't it? When people have had a few drinks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah killers. Yeah. yeah. Anyone can play killer. That's the thing. Yeah. Would you go to Bognor Regis? So. I yeah. assume you would. Yeah, yeah. of course would, yeah. yeah. Bogner Regis isn't too far, so yeah, absolutely, Charlie. About 45 minutes, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Would you travel to Reading? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Again, if you want, if you're interested in getting your table reclothed, Ian's business is um, Ian Griffiths Pool and Snooker Table Services. The uh, company can be found on Facebook, so type that into Facebook. Basingstoke, yes. Reading, yes. Newcastle, no. no. Oxfordshire... Maybe, Maybe depending Oxford. on what, what side of the Oxford. Yeah, yeah. It, it's basically got to be an hour and a half from Southampton in the UK. Portsmouth, yes. Lancashire, no. Coventry, no. How much does the table weigh? About 350 kilos. Is he going to level the table as well? Yeah, we're going to yep. do that. Yeah, absolutely. It's 130 pounds for the refit. Essex, no. Birmingham, no. Croydon? It might be a little bit too far, yeah, yeah. Croydon's a little bit too far. Too Guildford is probably the furthest. Alton, yeah. absolutely, yeah, my, my other half's mum lives in Borden, so Alton is definitely close enough. Ashford, Kent, that's probably too, too far. far. Yeah. Australia and Cape Town might be a little bit too far. Dublin as well. Expenses. Yeah, if you're Cape. paying for the flight, then maybe. <laughs> and the extra suitcase to put the, put the cloth in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, any other questions? Have I ever been to Swaddling Cope? No, I haven't. Mm. Portswood, yes, just round the corner from here. No, I'm, from, I'm not from Alton originally, I'm from the Aldershot area originally. So I'm not too far from Alton. Went to school in Farnham, so just down the road. Has he fitted any pro tables? Good question. Um. Any pro tournament tables or anything? Or? Not really. We've done a, a few exhibitions for Jimmy White yeah, back yeah. in the day. Okay. I've done um, Southampton and Brighton Football Club. Nice. They've got some in the training complex. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I've done a, quite a few snooker tables. And obviously, if you've got a snooker table in the actual house, yeah. they are nice houses. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You do go into some lovely houses. Some, yeah. 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 Chilworth, I bet, is probably. Uh... Yeah, I've done a few around <laughs> Chilworth. Yeah, very nice area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my brother lives in Camberley. Um, so that, uh, someone just asked about, I know Ess I'm from Essex, but no Camley very well. Um, yeah, my brother lives in Aldershot. Do I, st uh, in Gamble. Do I stay in Aldershot? No, my parents live in Aldershot, but I'm, I don't, I grew up in Ashvale, just down the road from uh, Aldershot. But, uh, can you get cloths with patterns or logos on? You can, but it yeah. costs a lot of money. Yeah, and they're annoying. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. <laughs> They just get in the way of like being able to see the line of the pot and stuff. I I think. Yeah, because obviously if you put a line through it, it's gonna look quite yeah, horrible if, get... if the emblem's there. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. I, I couldn't imagine doing that. Even like having my brand logo or something, I couldn't. I just couldn't imagine it. So. No. My slate broke on my table. How much to replace? One hundred and twenty-five pounds for delivery of the slate, and then probably about two fifty for the slate. So about three hundred and fifty to four hundred pounds, I would say. Did he do Paul Pogba's table? No, no. I did. No. How long to do somewhere like Ronnie's? Like in one, you wouldn't do them all in one day, would you? And do about two, no, done, two or three a day, I guess. Uh, I've done seven down his tub and all white one day. Oh, okay. obviously that was a really long day. Yeah, he yeah, did yeah. help take some of the stables out for me, which Got you. you see it speeds up a little bit. And yeah. his partner, so. Got you. Yeah, they were very helpful. Middle piece cloth comes off last. Is that right? Yeah. Obviously. Well, yeah. Cause yeah, the, the beige. You actually use that as a workbench. Yeah. The um, yeah, because obviously where the staples and the old cloth are all on the table right now. I'm just going to do a quick zoom up on this. Um, what Ian's doing is just securing the uh, the cushions into place. So they have these uh, these nuts obviously screw on. So this is the underneath of here, and it's just tightening up, tightening them up there to basically bring the into contact the cushion with the MDF frame. Um, you see this one being done. 
basically raise it just a little bit above. Yep. It's obviously important cool. to get them tight. Yep. Let's get that back. Glad to hear you're loving it, mate. What colour am I going for? Uh, grey. Super fine grey, you can see the colour difference. It will almost look a little bit purpley. That's how it should come across under this light, I think. Like a grey tinge. Yeah, like a grey purple. And that's how it looks when you, uh, if you watch Ultimate Pool, that's how it looks on there. I'm going to take contact details for new cloth. Could you fit Emsworth? Where's Emsworth? Yeah, the other side of Portsmouth, yeah. Emsworth, yes. Can you, uh, sorry, for a new slate. Where would you get? Where would you get the contacts? I think you try. I think the only way you can get a slate from is maybe chat to a fruit machine company. Yeah. Dransfield okay. are a big one ran by him. Which Dransfield, one? they're a very good company. Dransfield. Yeah, Dransfield. Okay. A fruit, big fruit machine company. Okay. Uh, search Dransfield. They're a, a fruit machine company that should be able to replace the plate. Uh, the uh, the slate. They might have a spare so, one. Yeah. Yeah. So that's for Tom Tips. Um, that's your answer to that, mate. Obviously, if you need a reclothing then Ian's the, Ian's the man in your area for sure. What colour am I getting? Grey. Why are you getting it changed? Just because it was a bit worn out. Uh, the cushion's just starting to get a bit bouncy. Um, so this is the frame. I need a handle or anything. That's right. So that's the frame of the table. So that's come off. So as you can see, that's now got all the cushions fitted replaced and now goes on to the uh the slate oh is that that's what's caused that really come unstuck, oh, okay so that's come unstuck and that's it's the reason why yeah it's come unstuck here that's, that's why so if you pull that tight does that straighten that up does it yeah oh look at that yep that's why because it came on unglued here basically I'll tell you what i'm gonna do i dropped this about a week ago see that town chalk down there uh, let's get that out. There we go. <laughs> so basically, it's got some metal struts going through here. Yep. And the way to re it is put your block underneath the slate, and put it on the middle strut like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can just, see under there. Just but... under the slate. Yep, yeah, okay, so that just goes under the one. slate. We've got another tiny chalk by the little bit. Yeah, oh, is there another one down there? Yeah. I'll grab that oh. out. Where is it? Just here. Oh, you're a legend. Cheers. Right, so that's the second, second chalk out of the table, which is good. So you can see now the slate is raised. Do you need ready. to have it raised to actually glue the edges? Yeah, 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 and get and underneath it. it. Yeah. Quite surprised they've let the, the left the cloth on underneath. What do you mean? Left the cloth on underneath. Normally you don't do that. Oh, okay. See. Yeah, this is original like right where. Yeah, you should normally cut it off. Oh, okay. Oh, right. actually. If you actually... have a cloth underneath a slate, it can raise the corners. Oh, uh, right. So... I'll get back to answering questions now, guys, but I'm just uh, showing you the process of basically taking off the, uh, the base or the slate, uh, cloth on the slate. Why grey cloth? Because they use it on Ultimate Pool. And, and, I'm, it's I'm, cloth. and it's a good quality, quality cloth, yeah. There's one more chalk. Don't know about that. If you see one, mate, let me know. <laughs> I don't think there is. There probably is, because I'll, yeah, I'll go. I tend no, to drop them it. down the pockets, that's but it. yeah. Quite satisfying this actually. You can the... <laughs> see there, there's a little bit. That's only after like say six to eight months use. That's from breaking. Yeah, so basically that's gone. Uh, now. Right. Imagine after four or five years, that yeah. will get more and more. So for those of you, you remember when I started breaking, and this probably would have been caused by that. And my cue ball was flying up yeah. to the ceiling. That's yeah. why, because I had dust underneath the the uh, the slate. That's crazy. 
I thought it was something wrong with the cloth. It was actually just a bit of dust yeah, underneath. Just hard it was, dust, yeah. yeah. And that's because I was front ball breaking from the same spot every single time. So the first ball, the pack jumps up in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down in slow motion. Yep. That's what it does. Yeah, and I was getting and literally the cue ball was flying. For those who remember me breaking dead centre and getting that lift on the cue ball, that's why. Handy. You can use the uh, <laughs> yeah. use the old cloth as a brush there. So the safe's pretty clean. It's only been cloth once. So yeah. Just, um, just make sure it's clean. Just make sure. The, so if there's a build up glue, which there's not, the ball can stop. Yep. That's why some tables it stops, but it's pretty good this one. So it's not been cloth. Yeah. Hmm. Again, I will get back to answering questions, guys. Right now, just kind of showing you the process of putting the, uh, the base cloth on the, uh, the table. I'm not having green. Um, that what is is that like a? That's a Stracker Super Pro used bed. Oh, it's basically, it... I use it to put it underneath to make sure there's no glue. Ah, right. Okay. The table. Got you. Got you. Got you. So I just put it like that. There you go. Perfect. Just always give it a quick brush off, just in case there's nothing underneath. So this bed here, because they've given it in, in one whip, which is better than actually cutting the cushion separately. Yeah. Basically, it's going to be too big. Yep. On the whip. First off, you've got to get the, the nap going the right way. Mm -hmm. So basically, the bulk was here, the bulk line, and the black ball was that end. So make sure the nap's going that way down the table. Mm -hmm. And you put it. Is it is the opposite way round? Is it different? Is there a top and a bottom? Oh yes, yeah, that's a good point. So this is the top. You can see yep. there's a nice nap on it. Underneath, it's just fluffy going both okay. ways. Yeah, yeah. I have seen people put it on upside down. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, and glued it. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. But, <laughs> so, but that's fun. It's quite surprising. <laughs> yeah. So that's a good point to me. Um, How long will it take to adjust the new cloth, Matthew? It's going to take me ages, mate. <laughs> I'll be honest, but we'll see how it goes. So, basically, you can cut it wider, but I cut it quite tight, sort of, yep. um, probably allow about five mil either side of it. Okay. It stretches hell of a lot. Yep. So, basically, I just cut it probably about there, which is plenty. Yep. And with the weave, it goes in a straight line this way. Got you. I just tear it like that, and it goes in a straight line. Wow, that's trust. That's trust right there. If I, if I, <laughs> it goes with the weave, but if I actually tear it the other way, it goes it will off. go off. Yep. You can end up with too small a cloth. Oh, uh, okay. So, but you normally only tear it going um, down the length anyway. So, so that's the right size. And just take it off, give it a quick shake, check there's no frays around it, because obviously this cloth can fray the edges. Yeah. Last thing you want to do is re-glue it all, and you can feel some underneath the cloth. Got you. So make sure there's nothing underneath. A quick shake. People saying you're a pro, getting quite a few of those comments, mate. So yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. Sort of the finish is up first. So I'll turn that round the wrong way, see? Yeah. Which can happen. It's always double check that you've got it the right way. Yeah. I'll take it. Can I feel that? Yeah, it's just oh yeah, 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 yeah. Way and rough the, other. the way you describe that, that feeling, yeah. the way I describe that is this way is like Smooth. when you get your hair cut, you know, if you brush the back of your head, if you get a fade. When you brush the back of your head, if you go against the grain and you go up from your neck to the back of your head, that's how it feels this way, but then it's smooth this way. That's, yeah, it's interesting. Again, I'm, I've never, last time I played on a nap cloth, I can't even remember. So I've always played speed. Always cloth underneath to stop yep. glue going inside the table. Maybe on the carpet, we should do that anyway. Yeah, yeah. When am I getting a fade? Soon, mate. My hair's way too long. <laughs> I'll use these four dog clips to hold the top on. Okay. See, everyone's invested in this, mate. You had about 300 people watching for a long time, and now you're up to nearly 900, so yeah. pressure's on. No. <laughs> no panic. Right, no, use okay. Peridin spray adhesive, which is probably the best glue to use. Some people use Evo stick, but if you apply this correctly, it should be pretty good. Cool. Basically, just do the 
children. With this glue, you've got to overlap it. Yep. Is it quick drying then, or how long yeah, does it take like, to dry? Well, it's still tacky, but if you put a little bit more on, which it says on the can, yep. directions how to use it, then it just gives it a bit, a bit, better, a bit more uh, sticking ability. This fray here, as I call them, no, that's the correct term. If you imagine if you had that underneath your cloth, yeah, 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 you'd really feel that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. Right. Basically, that's quite. It's quite sticky, sticky now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just fold it over. Tell Ian to make a TikTok and post this content because it's class. <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> you see how much this is going to stretch now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite okay. a bit, isn't it? Yeah. It does stay, but it's ball dog clip it just, just confirms that. Just makes sure it does, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't have to glue the sides then, it's just the ends? Yeah, or just the side and as, the first as, as, as in the Underneath. side of the table? Yeah, that's the you next do? stage. Oh, okay, do, yeah. cool, yeah, yeah. So you do that length first. Got you. Would you always do lengths first before do, widths? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. Always just make sure if you don't want the because it hasn't been used for a little while, you don't mm. want it to spray up in the yeah, end yeah, on the cloth. Yeah. Just Got make it. sure do a practice once it's going straight. You do underneath on the actual pockets. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. to actually round here because that's where it can fly up in the air. Yep. So, got to be a bit careful. If the blue starts struggling to come out of here, just turn the nozzle a little bit. Yeah. Got you. So, mate, so That's right, I was making sure it was covered. Kick that out, boy. Yeah, cheers. That would be a disaster. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't realise it was there, <laughs> to be fair. Left my iPad on the floor, right as he was about to walk over to it. So again, do you have to go over this twice completely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the first spray probably acts like a key, key in a way, and then the final bit of glue just to give it a bit more. Uh... 
doesn't smell too bad, does it really? It's not really a strong Yeah, some people think it's smell. really bad. Oh, I, don't, um, I don't really yeah. notice it unless I'm losing my sense of smell. It yeah, does, it's, it's not, not really... Yeah, it's not horrendous, but I suppose I'm used to it, and I, Yeah. Um, I'm always happy in the job anyway, just having to do it all Because on the sides, because it takes about a minute to go off. Yep. Basically on the sides, if I went and then doubled that one, I think this side would go off too quickly. Okay. Because obviously they're longer sides than the ends. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I do it like this. Okay. He's got a drink, guys. Don't worry. He's hydrated. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, make him a drink. Get him a drink. <laughs> You obviously you've, you've only just got here if you if you're asking that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, this is um, Strachan Superfine. It's still quite tacky, yeah. but not enough. Mm -hmm. Someone said, get him a beer. <laughs> if you want one, mate, you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously all this edge here is underneath the Enough for oh, enough. The there, was, there was me trying to be, That's you know, right. productive. Thank you for your help. <laughs> done it about you. Hand you a clip, you know. <laughs> that makes this gets me a discount, right? No, I'm joking. Yeah, <laughs> it's me one thirty, right? Yeah. <laughs> Steps just quite a bit, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So this is slate, Tom. It's being put on to slate, mate. It takes about 10 minutes to heat up. Okay. The process, obviously, finishing the table off is roughly 10 minutes, so. Yep. So it's 10 minutes from now, you reckon it was, it's yeah, done, Yeah, not far it? off, maybe 15 at the most. Fair yeah, enough. We're we'll getting there. Fair enough. Now you've got to cut the middle pockets. Cool. Uh, so the cost of this is 130 pounds to have it fitted, but the cloth that I've got is 180 pounds, so all in all 300 pounds. But you can get cheaper cloths than the one that I've got, which uh, fitting, like what's like a ballpark figure would you say yeah, for just like a in super pro speed cloth 190 for green okay and that's fitted or, and supplied yeah, or 200 for a different color okay it's the same price for the nap cloth which is 611 club 190 for green or 200 okay. for a different color cool and if you want information on ian's um so like services it, it go on to facebook type in ian griffiths snooker and, pool. Snooker and pool table services so i was saying pool and snooker oh, earlier, <laughs> Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, he fits t tables around the south of England. So if you are on the south coast area or kind of, you know, Hampshire, Surrey, Dorset, West Sussex, Berkshire areas, 
an hour and a half from Southampton, basically, then um, he'll, he'll, he's the man to, uh, to fit your tables. Thanks for that. There you go. Mm -hmm. No, unfortunately, if it's further north than, say, like, Reading, then unfortunately, no. There's not enough time in the day. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? Do you do Southampton? Yeah, obviously, yeah. yeah. From Bracknell, nice. Yeah, Bracknell, yeah Bracknell's yeah. an area he'd do. Yeah. Uh, anyone in the northeast of England? I'd probably say Alan, Ye Alan Yates, who fits the IPA tables. He's in Newcastle. Um, he's a good mate of mine. I would say as well, a good way is checking who your snooker, local snooker club is. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a good they, idea. You can see their work, but yeah. also they've got to be pretty good if they do work yeah. for snooker yeah, clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good tip. Yeah. If you've got a snooker table in your area, ask the snooker table or the snooker club. Sorry, if you've got a snooker club in your area, then ask the uh, the club where they get their table, who fits their tables, um, and that person obviously should be pretty good. Should be pretty good at it. So, would he go to America if a customer flew him out and back? I don't know. <laughs> we can talk. Yeah, he can talk. We could, he said we can talk. So check his website. <laughs> Colchester's going to be too far north. Yeah, six years, too yeah far north. unfortunately. Is he good at pool himself? Doesn't really play. London, again, a little bit too far north. Yeah. So it's an hour and a half from Southampton. Uh, from Fareham, sorry. So Exeter's probably too far west. Yeah. Yeah, slightly yeah. too far west, unfortunately. Thanks so much for the cap, Chris. Much appreciate that. So again, anywhere north of kind of... Oxford is is unfortunately too far north. Bristol, yeah, too Bristol's too far. Yeah. Waterlooville, yeah, he fits yeah. the tables at the Waterlooville Club. So if you're in Waterlooville, you'll see him there. Plymouth, again, too far west. Kent's going to be too far east, unfortunately. Bournemouth is yes. Surrey, depending on where it is, then yes. Everyone's saying you should make a TikTok page, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Kids and I do it. <laughs> right, so now you've got to cut the excess cloth off. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So. We do this this side, just so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's like, that's, that was cool. <laughs> see if I can do that again, that was fast. See if the cloth sits on yeah. these um, struts in the middle of the table, it raises it, and it can bow the slate as well, because obviously when you toggle clip it down, yep. you're going to be compressing it. Mm -hmm. You can bow the slate. Okay. So you can see the difference in colour. So yeah. that was the old cloth, and this is now the new cloth. Well. Yes, yeah, so you were saying you wouldn't glue underneath, right? No, it's literally it's right to the edge. Still a little bit because he obviously glued underneath where we fit it last. Got time. you. So cut. The blocks come from underneath the table. The slate just sits back on top. You've got 1,600 people watching you, mate. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Thank you very much. No worries. So, again, if you. Have you done any? Someone's asked, I've just seen, have you done any celebrities' tables? Um. We've done the old footballer, Portsmouth footballer, back in the day, but we've done um, the guitarist of Dire Straits. So he was very nice, John Isley. Okay. He was very nice. I suppose if you're a bit younger, you probably wouldn't know who they are. <laughs> basically, now you've got creases because it came in a pack. Yep. This is normal cloth cleaner. Okay. So basically, spray this on. 
and it helps get the creases out. And it's like a starch, so it sort of irons up nicer as well. So obviously, okay. with clothes and irons, you use a bit of starch sometimes with collars for shirts and that. So, would you recommend when ironing the table any time? Would you I, recommend putting that on first? Not really. Only if you want to clean it. But the fact okay. because there's creases in it because yeah. it's been folded up, it just helps get them out a little bit. Got you. So Fair it's enough. The process of reclothing it basically. Yep. And you obviously brush with a nap. Yep. So you can see the difference in shade when you do that. So it's how it's lighter in some places. So that's the nap of the table. So is this a crease, is it, this black mark? Yeah, is that what just that is? a crease. Oh, okay, yeah. so cool. So just put maybe a little bit more on there because it's worse than one down the middle. Yeah. But not too much because you don't want the cloth to get wet. Yeah. So, but when you are on that, that will near enough all come out. Yeah. But even if it hasn't, it will come out in the next week or so. Okay. That's just where it was folded, I yeah, assume. Yeah, yeah. it come folded in the pack, wouldn't yeah, it? It was in that big enough. gun bubble bag, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, do you want white pen or black pen? Uh, white, please, yeah. mate. I'm going to go for white pen with this. Can you? Are you able... I don't know if you do it at the moment, but on the, on the tool that I use, I know on the play up, do you know what I mean? Do you do that at all? I can do it, but it's not easy to do because on snooker, what you do, you've got your tacking strip of wood underneath yeah. the slates. You can tack a nail to it. Okay. But obviously here it's not so easy because you can't you can't do a string line on slate. Got you. So it's a little bit hit and miss. You it's know fine. what I mean? I won't ask you to do it, mate. Well, if I it, can do it. <laughs> no, if it's if it's like they were there once, the, once the camera's off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's two there's two bolt lines, isn't there? There's 15 inches and there's 18 and a half. Some people like it in between. Oh god. Because there's two I sets didn't know of that. Rolls. I didn't know that at all. Yeah, so you got. Black ball rules, which so most I'm, people play now, that's marked at um, a, a fifth of the slate. That's going to be what I play. Which black is, ball and international are the same. In terms I'm of not marks. sure. It's just a base that I'll do. Black ball. Um, black ball rules is um, a fifth of the slate, yeah. which is 15 inches, because okay. it's 75 five inches long. Yeah. But world rules is marked at a quarter, apparently. Definitely not world Which rules. is 18 and a bit. <laughs> No. So some, so a lot of, when you get a table, it's normally in between. Yeah. Like 16 and three quarters, 16 and a half. Okay. So do you want to go for the 15? Definitely, but definitely not yeah. well. Definitely not well, Rory. So <laughs> rocket, rocket one is it's 16 and three quarters in between. So it depends what you want. Oh no, the black ball you were saying. 15, yeah, 15, 15 inch, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it was before, do you reckon, on that blue one? Difficult to tell. No, it'd be 16. Like, um, I reckon it's 16, much. I reckon. Is that where it would have been? Orange is 16. I reckon it's there. I think it was there, yeah. 18, that's a lot, isn't it? No, sorry, no, no, no. Oh! 18. Hang on. Let me, let me, do, let me test this, so I yeah. should be able to... Yeah. Answer. One sec. Get the rules out. Try to the cushion would be there. Um, probably about there, I reckon. Yeah. Chopped it on it. So I think it would have been there. Roughly about six. Is that 16? 16, 16 sounds about right. 16. Supremes normally when you buy a brand new table, you have them at 16. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that then. A little that bit seems in between. That seems about right. That seems too close. That's yeah. 15, yeah? Yeah. That's yeah. definitely too close. Go for 16? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yep, let's do no 16 problem. again. In between, just under, in between. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, no worries. So you're, so you're using Tipex to do this, is that right? Yes, yeah, it's okay. longer lasting. Yep. It does sit on the front surface a little bit, but nothing terrible. Cool. So it's a white Tipex that has been used to mark this? Tipex fine point pen. Okay. Or well, if you want black, it's a black Sharpie, Sharpie. fine point yeah. pen. So. I definitely don't want Sharpie on this. No. So. Hang on one sec, I'll pull this down just so you can see this process, guys. So we've obviously marked the two dots off. Start it there, get your pen going. And just go all the way across. It's a little bit shorter, because I use this to go when the cushions are down. It's yeah. in between. Okay. Obviously there's no cushions on it, it's a little bit short, but it's easy enough to go over it. Cool. Yeah, I guess you don't have to go all the way to the edge, do you? Because no, it, the there, cushions yeah. cover it, yeah. Yeah, yeah how do you measure the black ball spot? Right, Is that always right. in the same place? or? Yeah, so very quickly. Cool. 
you do halfway between here, which is 50 and a half. Okay. So sorry, the length is 50 and a half inches, so basically 25 and a quarter. It's half 50 and a half inches, 25 and a quarter there. Cool. And then that should be halfway 19 and a half because it's 39 inches long. Yep. So 19 and a half on there. And basically you put your it's going pretty much straight through the middle of the pocket. Good stuff. Right. Love it. So one thing, one thing you get, I get people ask me sometimes is why isn't there a D on that? Um, there's not a D because rules now haven't got a D, have they? Yeah, no, exactly. The That's way, why I say. Yeah, the only people that want a D on is if perhaps they used to play with a D and that's what they used to. Yeah, with uh, on in snooker, obviously, you still get it. I'm talking about the, basically the half circle that you used to get here. Uh, you don't get that on English pool tables anymore, so... Has, has it ever gone wrong doing the lines on the course, table? Yeah, 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 that was perfect, yeah. 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 Do you want a hand or are you good? No, that's all right. Oh, yeah, you can always uh, make mistakes. That was perfect, are they? Yeah. If you, if you, if you think you are perfect, I think you, you're wrong. <laughs> I think that's with every, every career, isn't it, really? So, yeah. Do you want a hand? Hang on. That's all right, that's all right. See if I can at least hand you that. Thank you. <laughs> Um, what was the question someone just asked me? Hang on one sec. Saw a question. Oh, yeah, with the pen line, do you need to let it dry or is it dry straight away? Um, no, it should be pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Obviously, by the time I've top clipped it all up, yep. centralised the slates in the middle pockets, mm -hmm. um, check the level, it would well be dry by then. So Cool. All right, so first look at what it's going to look like, guys. A lot different to what it was, and I think it actually. Well, first thing it goes nice with the black. It, I think. it does, but it suits the room. <laughs> the the blue is the part. Yeah, exactly, she's gonna love it. <laughs> I don't think I think she's gone back to work. Um, she's gonna like. I like the the contrast with like the color in the background and the curtains and that. It looks a lot better, I think. Now I just hope it plays the same. <laughs> This is in my living room of my house. So yeah, it's going to be ironing the table, levelling it. They're the last, are they the last two steps, ironing and oh, levelling? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. yeah so. so the iron just took 10 minutes to get hot. It's probably almost there now, so I'll turn it off maybe and see what the level's like. So basically with the level, yep. oh, hang on. Oh, that's down. you want this burble to be in the middle, so it is there near enough. Yeah, this is an engineer spirit level. You say yeah, it's got to be 9 to 12 nine, inches. Nine yeah, to 12, inches. 12 okay. inches are better. And then basically you do it there. Okay. It's probably a little smidge off, but hardly noticeable. And then you do it there. Pretty good. That looks pretty good, yeah. And you do the same this end. So this is where I was getting the issues. So it's going a little it's, bit high. It was coming, this pocket was coming out. So I don't know if that's that shows. That's perfect because that's what it's showing. Okay. So basically, that's showing that basically um, it would have been hugging that cushion. Was that what's happening? It, it would basically. I was playing along this rail, yeah. and it would roll out yeah, towards this jaw. Yeah, we, can we take a ball and show? Would it do yeah, that right do, now? Yeah. yeah. If I turn the iron off, it's only going to take a couple of minutes to eat. Yeah. Off. If you basically just roll a ball towards me. Yeah. Like what I was, what I was finding is it was rolling away. Yeah. And I was. That's what the level's showing that it's actually yeah. too high. Yeah. So it's it's doing that a little bit. Okay. So basically, what we need to do is bring it up a little bit. Okay. Well, I'd actually, because it's high this corner, bring it down. But what? So to go with the foot, you've got yeah. to do it anti-clockwise. Yeah. To heighten it, you've got to do it clockwise. Yeah. So with I'm just going to anti-clockwise this. Now I do it is with my leg. Mm -hmm. and my shoulder. Don't don't try this at home, guys. <laughs> and the table like that, and just turn it a little bit. Yep. Just technique based. It's still too high, so I'll just do it a little bit more. Do it anti-clockwise to lower the height of the leg. See what it's like in the middle now. See, because what I was finding, and this is why I thought there might have been an issue with the slate, is yeah. that it was bowing, it was rolling off there, but it was fine this, like, central, and it was fine there. Okay. Is that, like, just to do with these two legs down this uh, end, or is that a weird know, thing? No, really. Or? I think once once you level it up this and see if it's altered much, much in the middle, if that makes sense. Yeah. Just do a little bit more. Anti clockwise to lower it. So that's pretty good now. Okay. Basically now it's brought it back out still a little bit. Yep. But it will improve it. 
and we'll see what it's like in the middle. So it's pretty much a little, little bit high in the middle maybe. How much it's a little these? bit low here, so only a little bit. So basically if we heighten the leg a little bit, yep. each corner here, it will counteract the bottom of being too high because okay. you're heightening this end. Cool. So clockwise, just to do it a little bit. You're only talking probably a fifth of a turn of the foot. Yep. Hardly anything. Same there. How much are one of these levels? Um, I probably paid under £100 for this, but it was a second-hand one. Yeah. Um, it's a real and old one. I think it's a Rabone and Sons. Okay. So basically, keep looking online on eBay, and um, you might get a bargain. Yeah, yeah. These are in engineers' spirit levels, guys. Yeah. They're yeah. they're a lot more reliable than your regular B and Q spirit level. Oh yeah, boat level that you pick up for like twelve pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the table is seven foot by four foot. It's almost there. Cool. Just a little bit more. Just hiding it clockwise. Something a little turn. Cool. How big is the room? The room is 15 foot by 13 foot. You would need that much. Uh, 15 foot by 13 foot, 16 foot by 14 foot would be like ideal, and then 17 foot by 15 foot if you want loads of space. Yes, that's spot on now. Yeah. Nice. Or it was quite a bit out. There's spot on there. Cool. Near the middle, it's it's still good. Yep. And here it's it's good as well, so it shows you've got a quite a pretty good table. Cool. All right, so I was, there was me worried about the slate. Yeah, Seems so to be it should okay. pay pretty well now, but the fact it's nap cloth as well is going to help with the levels yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Put the oil back on. Quick brush off. So basically, you've got the nap of the cushion going that way. Yeah. Do you want to go from right to left? Okay. Is if that you brush on? that way, you're going to fluff the cushion up. Got you. And then you brush right to left. Yeah. Is that on every cu pockets. every cushion? Right to left. Um, so you just yeah, go around yeah, and you yeah. go around yeah, clockwise, yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah. So right to left. So if you ask me how to drive a car, I'd have to. I won't be able to tell you. It's yeah. One of those, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So just going down a table. You see that that line's not smudging at all, so it's pretty much. Yeah, 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 out, yeah, yeah. So. And you say with this black line, that's just going to disappear over time, is it? Yeah, but I've got iron it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. So. Now, one thing I used to do with my old table is. I could use a vacuum on it. Is that something you I could use on this? That. Okay, perfect. Because with a vacuum cleaner, the suction's going to do the nap going all over the place. Got you. And also, you've got a chance of sucking up the cloth and loosening the cloth. Okay. So I would say it's a big no no. Okay, there was uh, my mistake on the speed cloth. Is yeah. it different on speed cloth? Oh, it's exactly the same. Okay. It's probably worse on that because obviously you've got a nap on it, but I still think. Okay, that is lesson a, learned for me. It's not a good idea. <laughs> no, brush is the best. Cool. Proven formula. And so that was, did you say that was right to left or left to right on every cushion? Yeah, yeah, right to left. So if you feel there, it's right to left. Yeah. There's right to left. Yeah. And then you, you end up with this pocket, basically, where you're brushing the, the excess. But to be fair, there's not a lot there because it's a brand new cloth. Okay. So that's all in there. So that's all brushed. Right. I'm going to try the arm. basically show it how hot it is oh wow obviously because i've got spit on my finger it yeah doesn't burn my finger but that just goes to that's show quite that's pretty so you would um you'd unplug it and then iron it you wouldn't do it plugged no it leaves not long enough okay but obviously it keeps its heat yeah so i'll just put on my trousers check there's nothing underneath yeah yeah, yeah. and obviously and obviously but you go flush to the cushion you always keep it moving yeah like that mm -hmm. you go into the middle pocket yeah back out mm-hmm you see how that's pretty much all, all already yeah, so got you, rid of most of that look, black mark. If you look yeah. here, you can see it the most. I don't know if you see it on camera, but you can yeah, see how you much can, it... Yeah, you can, yeah. It's kind of like a football pitch yeah. when they cut the grass different. You sort of overlap it, yeah. probably by about 15, 20 centimetres, and do it at a slight angle. Yeah. And up to the cushion, don't bang the cushion. Yeah. I'm going to come around now for the next one.
Now that smell is that just the new cloth? I assume uh, it's that's iron. like. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the iron. It's quite a new one actually, because I have to buy another one because the the actual um, heating plate inside goes. Okay. I replaced it once, but I think if it goes again, you're better off just getting another iron. Yeah. It's always going to go. I think it did cool. last me another probably six months to a year. So. Got you. So if you look at it, you can see a faint line, but it's hard to anything. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna. It's not going to affect play at all, and that will come out anyway. It's yeah. the main fold line of the cloth. Cool. That's pretty much it. Okay. Good stuff. All right, well, Ian is done, guys. Um, see how quick it is. If we just try a ball. I think the length of the table, you can tell the most how much it rolls. Yeah. How much it goes on. It doesn't roll as much as the speed cloth, for sure. Is no. that what you were saying about how it's no. just not... Yeah. So... Look at that, perfect. Do you think the are the pockets going to be more forgiving because it's a new cloth? I think they they will, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that because I still don't play. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, if you fancy a game, mate, yeah, we'll game, everyone's yeah. asking for it. You've got two point six k people asking for a game. Yeah, mate. we'll have a game. We'll have a game, and hopefully, I won't rip the cloth with the first break. <laughs> I'm sure, you'll be fine. So they give you a bit of access cloth, so keep that just in yeah. case. Probably not quite wide enough for a racking cushion, but okay. anyway. Oh, I'm nervous now. This is probably the most nervous I've uh, ever been on. There's no pressure on me. I've done my job. Yeah, no, I just don't want to. No, it's not I'm nervous about winning. I just don't want to damage right. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Where is that last ball? Got it. Wow, that's like. Well, I'll go to I'll go to move that triangle forward. And it's like ice. <laughs> that's crazy. All right, let's see what we're well. This is where the video goes wrong. <laughs> break. I finally break from the middle because I know the ball isn't going to fly up. Purposefully didn't hit that very hard. <laughs> Let me have a shot, won't you? I was going to say, mate, yeah. if that was a bit better, it might have been a nice breaking clearance on the very first. This will make a video, to be fair, if this is a clearance, but yeah. it's probably not. <laughs> the cue ball carries forward so much. Well, more than the speed. Uh, after I just hit that, oh, the see. reaction from the okay. top spin yeah. was yeah. so much more. Yeah. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. And again, just a bit off the. Uh, Looks like just a lot more bite off the off okay. the cushion. Is that okay. like, is that known or probably because it's got a nap on it? Yeah, probably yeah. Bites into on the, the on the cushion. Yeah, as, well. as soon as it touches the cushion, it probably pings off a bit more because it's got a nap on it. Got you. I would guess. Okay. Yeah. Here's your shot, mate. Yeah, it's coming. Well, I don't know. Get your cue. <laughs> or I want to use this one. Yeah, mate. Oh, that's a break cue. You probably want to use okay, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Unless we pull something out of the hat. Yeah, got the double pack. Wow, that slid off massively. That's something I've got to get used to. So oh, they're not, it's not going to double the same as I used to. I've got a shot anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's going to be the thing that's going to be the hardest thing to get used to, I think. Yeah. It's just how much it slides off the uh, cushions. Yeah. But that's something that when they harden up over time and then that won't be a thing, that takes like two weeks. Yeah. So. Safety? Fair enough. enough. I don't know about that. Loves it. <laughs> a bit of safety. Shot. Sure. That's the thing I wouldn't even have seen that shot. <laughs> <laughs> I already like the doubles though. Yeah, yeah. Doubles are nice. 
Don't say we have two shots. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you. I enjoyed it. Thank you. <laughs> Well played. No, that was good, mate. I'm yeah. loving that already. Obviously, with these, with the hand marks and stuff, because that's something you wouldn't get on the sleep cloth. That's no, just it's... something that can be brushed out, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. So... I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see these black lines. That's from just sweaty palms. And I mean, I use. I've got a brush, but it's not. It's not great, but it'll. Yeah. You know, it does. If I can find it, I think it's under the table. I'll use my one, but if yeah, you yeah, brush yeah. it. You brush this way, and it yeah, with a it. nap, and they sort of almost go. I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Can you see those hand marks on the telly? Uh, perhaps they don't show up. Maybe it might be the lighting. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Shot to know, isn't it? They must oh, get it. It's, it's exactly the same cloth, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got to be the same. Maybe you do want ultimate. That's something I haven't really yeah. thought about. But You might look out for it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. One more thing, mate, is yeah. um, your logo. If yeah. you want to just hold that up to the camera. If anyone's interested in getting okay. their table refitted. Yeah. So, Ian Griffiths, Snooker and Paul Table Services. Yeah, give that a search, guys, on Facebook. So Ian's got his... Um, or a website page. Website, yeah, 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 you can go on that if you are looking to get it reclothed. Um, but otherwise, that is us done. 2.2K of you to see this um, has now... Much. Yeah, thanks, Ian, Thank for, for coming. Um, any, any other questions, guys? What I'm going to do is I am going to stop the live now. Uh, I've got something going on, and I'll hopefully come back on live tonight. But um, otherwise, I will be back um, tomorrow for a match. First match on the brand new table. Um, thank you so much for joining for the uh, the recloth. Hopefully, it won't need to be recloth anytime soon. But uh, if it does, obviously Ian's the man for it. Um, and if you're looking for someone to refit your table, then um, thanks for the, uh, the cap, Chris. Um, then obviously um, reach out to Ian, who will fit the uh, cloth for you in the south of England. So uh, yeah, a lot of people saying did a great job, mate. So yeah, good stuff. And Lennon was saying, well done, Dad. So <laughs> see you later, Lennon. All right, see you later, guys. Thanks so much for joining. Speak to you soon. That's nice, isn't it?